I said something some months back that I saw a riot that is like civil war. Did I say that? Yes. Today is the first of May and I'm repeating it again. We should pray for the nation. I saw a riot that is like a civil war in Nigeria. And I looked for the president on power. I didn't see him on seat anymore. I have spoken. Preserve my video. I will tell them when the time reach. But we should be grateful to God that at least the fuel crisis has come down. Is it true? We gave the prophecy about two to three weeks ago. Am I right? And I told the president that in two weeks, all the fuel crises will come down. Let me talk to you, sir. In two weeks, the fuel problem in Nigeria will be over. Every fuel station will have fuel. But that when fuel crisis come down, all fuel station will no longer sell fuel at a uniform price. But they will not all sell at the same price. Everybody will sell fuel in different prices. But there will be fuel in the country. Did I say that? I know there are people here. I don't care who they are. I know there are journalists here. I don't care who they are. And I know the government have sent people to me in this church to warn me I should not be speaking about the nation. This cannot be going on wrong. And then the man of God, the prophet of the land, keep silence. Who will not? All the blame they are putting, the present government is putting on the previous government is a lie. The previous government did not spoil any economy of the nation. The present government are not capable of ruling Nigeria. I have spoken. I told you people in 2015 that they should watch out. That this government will be a government that people will cry. And people said I was making mouth. And I said it. I said it, that the strength of APC is broken. The strength of PDP is broken. But there will be a new political party. Did I say that last year? And that people from APC and PDP will come back because APC that is looking for power will fail the country. And when they fail the country, they will not be able to contest anymore. Because even a madman will not be ready to vote for APC. Tell you a prophecy that will be shocking. Very soon, APC will be totally dead as a political party. Very soon. Because I saw a man who was like a founding father of APC. I saw him left APC. I'm, 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 I'm on television live to the whole world. And I'm telling you the naked truth. PDP will remain. PDP will not have power anymore. They will just control a few places and remain. But they are not coming up to the presidency. APC will go nowhere. It's already dead. But there is a new political party that will serve Nigeria. But we should pray against division. Because if not, Nigeria will be divided into four. I have spoken. I said a few things two weeks ago to the president and people. People started calling me. They said, be careful, be careful. When you say run away, carry your wife run. Where do I run to? God is sending me 
to give you a warning note. He said, everything happening in the country now is a warning to you. He said, there is a hidden agenda in your heart that you are trying to implement. I should tell you to withdraw yourself from the hidden agenda. I own this property, so where do I run to? I'm standing on the altar of God who called me. And I told them for you to know that God sent me to tell you what I'm saying. In two weeks, all the fuel problem will come down in Nigeria. Hear me, sir. This is the altar I'm standing. I stood on this altar when I spoke on October last year. That God said there will be a terrible fuel scarcity. That the minister for petroleum will not be able to help. And that Nigerians will be looking for fuel. Yes, in Lagos, when well, it's sold for 300 naira per liter. At some point, they said they ended for a problem. I came up to this same altar. I said it that God told me that for a problem was not over, but was going to be worse. And today, the country has seen it. As for a problem, come down. But now, watch out. The present president will be out of the country. I saw health, 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 health. Until they are looking for president, they don't see anymore. They look for president, they can't see. They look for president, they can't see. What is happening? We can't tell. Is it what happened to Yaradwa? We cannot tell. I have spoken. But God will save Nigeria because of you and me. Because of you and I. God would save the country. The country is every day going down. And people are lying to you. People are lying. They will come up today, they will lie. Where they don't see any other thing to lie on anymore. They say, Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan, Jonathan. Jonathan, Jonathan. The former government, the former... is a lie. They have nothing to work on. They have nothing. And let me shock all of you who were saying that they were, there was a fight against corruption. This is the most corrupt government that this country has ever seen. Take it anywhere. And they will tell me, be careful the way you talk. And some government officials walking here and sat down and tell me, from now be careful how you talk about the government. I have spoken. Come and carry me. Because no prophet have killed you. That's why. There are people who come closer to you. Die. I stretch forth my hand. From today, there will be mass dead in Nigeria. Every wicked politician making the country to suffer. They die. prophecy with my two eyes open yes sir every wicked politician in this country <laughs> whether from pdp uh -huh. or apc <laughs> contributing to the tears of that the that innocent that. one yeah. i stand on this altar yes sir as a prophet of god mm. since they refuse to change mm. they die Amen.